Hello everyone, my name is Katrina. You're watching Lavender Beginnings Art. Today's video is going to be about this cute little pumpkin patch pendant. I'm going to show you how I put it on the necklace and it's made with polymer clay. So I'm going to show you how to make that. If you want to see how to do it, just stick around for the rest of the video. Let's get started. Start out by lightly mixing these three colors of clay. It's like a purplish blue, a sky blue, and a white. And I just roll it out and then I smooth it out with this dotting tool. You just want to try to get everything into the center of the pendant with the ball, with the little smooth ball. And then I added a little bit more white here because I thought it would look nicer. And then a little bit more blue. Just keep smoothing it out. And I use my fingers to smooth it out like this. I just think it gets a smoother finish when I do it like that. And then I start adding in the grass. I used a, a darker green and a lighter green in spots. And then I just smooth it out with my dotting tool again. And then here I just use a pointy tool and add in like blades of grass. Added a little bit more lighter green in that spot. And then I start making the pumpkins. I just roll little balls and flatten them out. And then use my scraper tool to add in those lines on the pumpkin and if you want to make them a little bit bigger you just squish it down with your finger and then here I am just adding the, the base of the trunk here and then mapping out where I want it to where I want the branches to go out a little bit that part doesn't matter too much because I just end up covering it with the leaves anyways and then here I am making the bigger pumpkins in the front. And when I did this new pendant, I wanted it to have more pumpkins since it's a pumpkin patch. The other pendant didn't have as many pumpkins, so I thought it looked nicer with more pumpkins. So I added a little bit more grass on top, and then I make it go over the pumpkins a little bit, just so it looks like grass is coming up on the sides of the pumpkins. And then I make the little stems. I just kinda roll out a little ball and then make it into a little a little tiny worm, cut it in half, and put the stem on each pumpkin and smooth it out with a tool. It doesn't really matter what tool, as long as it's like little and has that point so you can get the, the angles in there. You want to try to smooth the orange on top of the brown just so it looks like the, the stem is in the pumpkin, you know. You don't want it to look like it's on top of the pumpkin. And now here I am adding in different colors for the tree leaves. I used greens, orange, yellow, reds, a red brownish color. And I don't know what this tool is called that I'm using, but it works really nice. It's got like rounded tip type of thing and it works really well for getting that texture of the leaves that I wanted and I thought hey let's add another pumpkin here didn't want there to be empty space so I just added this pumpkin in same technique as all the others roll into a ball and then add those lines and add the stem and for this you just make little green snakes and attach one part to the stem of the pumpkin and then you have those little like curly cues that are on pumpkins sometimes. And then I added a darker green for like a leaf on the pumpkin. Just adding more little details. And you really just want to use small pointy tools to do this because your fingers are going to be way too big to get that small detail in there. And then here I am just scraping up the grass and smoothing out the edges of the pendant. You want it to like round out on the edges. You don't want it to be like hanging over the edge of the pendant or not, you know? And then here I scrape out part of the center of the tree and then roll a little black piece of clay to make a little hole in the tree. Cause I thought that would be a cute, cute little detail that I didn't do on the first one. And then I showed what the tool I was using was. I'm not really, like I said, don't really know what it's called, but that's my favorite tool, I think. And then I just use the pointy, scrapey tool and add in details. And 
I added a little bit of blue here so it looks like the branches you can see through the tree, you know? I thought that looked nice. And then adding in some more details, I scraped out parts of the tree and added detail so it looks like there's sections to the tree. It's not all just one big lump. See right here, I added a little section in between with the scrapey tool and then added in some bit texture again. Give it some different details here. I feel like with the first pendant I did, it was just all like a lump and I didn't like that. So you just want to make it look like there's sections and then I just scrape it up. Just use my finger to lightly pull out the pendant there and that's what it looks like. So this next part is me showing you how I do the necklace. I use a hoop here, add that to the pendant itself. After you super glue, I don't think I showed that, I super glued the pendant to well, the, yeah, the pendant to the metal pendant, and then I add another loop here to the smaller chain, and then I add a slightly bigger chain, and then you have to squeeze it back together, make sure it doesn't fall off, and that is so you can adjust the chain. You can make it longer or shorter, depending on how you want to wear it. So this is the finished product. I think it came out way better than the first one. This is the first one. So there's a side by side. This one is way better. Uh, I got new clay tools and I'm gonna link them in the description. They're way better than the plastic ones, I gotta say that. I lost my old metal tools and my sister, shout out to my sister, she got me new tools. So I think it turned out really cute. If you like my stuff, check out my other videos, like and subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload new things. Thanks for watching, bye.